Hello everybody, welcome back to Barrel's Garage. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to talk about the difference between two types of welds. That's right, we're going to talk about getting the metal hot. <laughs> a rosette and a plug weld. So I know, those two terms interchange all the time and I've heard them confused over, I don't know, maybe nowadays they're all called the same thing. But I'll explain it to you the way that I learned it from a guy who took welding back in the 60s. And I learned everything from him. Yes, I never went to school for welding. I learned it from him and it was easy because it's my dad. <laughs> so here we go and I'll explain to you how he explained to me the difference between a rosette and a plug weld and where you use both of those types of welding. So let's dive right in here and I'll show you the difference. Now, as you've seen on that little bitty short that I did, this is my upper control arm mount on this 58 Ford. I'm getting ready to weld in my motor mounts and everything. Anyway, on this, when I did that short, everybody said, oh, those are nice rosettes you got there. These actually aren't rosettes. These are plug welds. Now, the difference is, yeah, I got my handy little stick here. <laughs> Picture this as your welding wire for MIG welding, okay? Or you can imagine this for stick too if you want, uh, any type of welding, flux, anything. But for these purposes, MIG welding. This is the wire coming out the end of your torch, okay? On a plug weld, this is vital that it is hardcore attached to the frame here because this is what holds the whole, <laughs> whole front end of the car up. Now, as I explained in that video, I had to cut this free and move it over just a little bit, about, uh, about an inch I moved it over. Now, the reason I had to move this over is because I'm lowering the front end of the car. And, well, when you lower the front end of the car, the camber or the tire angle goes in, or the tire, the front tire lays over if you're, uh, let's see, if you lays over like this if you lower the car. Now, to get that tire to stand back up, I have to make the upper control arm that mounts right here longer. The way I've done that is I've moved this out one inch, so that tire will stand up straight when the car is about two inches lower in the front end. Anyway, skip through that. That's the reason I had to do this. When I did it, I ground off the factory hot rivets. That's what they use from the factory is hot rivets. I ground those off, pried this up, ground off the stem piece of the rivet, and moved this over. Well, that left me all these nice little holes for plug welds. Now, on a plug weld, unlike a rosette, you start, I'll show you here, because I got a nice little hole right here where my shock comes through. My, that's my shock mount. On a plug weld, you start your burn in the center. Okay? Uh, on this, I want it hardcore attached to the frame because, like I said, this is what holds the whole front of the car up. So I want this hardcore structured. I want it glued together very good. So I start my burn in the center of the holes. Get that metal, that puddle burning in. I want that hardcore penetration in there. So I'm watching the puddle as it eats down into the metal on the frame piece. Then you work it in a circle pattern like this out to the edge of the hole, to this material. Then you roll it over the outside of the hole like this. And you see the way I'm moving my hand? And it's kind of exaggerated because that's a pretty good sized hole. But that's what you're doing. You're rolling that wire around in a circle like that all the way back up to the center and then you come back into the center and you do a hard hit there right in the center when you do that hard hit in the center it'll lay that puddle and all your filler down like a mushroom over the top of it basically you're making another rivet but you've also burned in around the edge of the hole super attaching this to the frame of the car that's a plug weld. Now, rosette is the exact opposite of that. 
you use rosettes a lot in body work, uh, filling holes. That's basically what a rosette is, it's filling a hole. Now in a rosette, I'll get back down here, I can show you on the hole. You do it just the exact opposite. You start on this material, but you start it out here on the edge of the hole. You give it a zap, you get it, light that match and get it going. Start there, start there, start there, and, and sheet metal especially, because you don't want to just lay into it. You'll burn holes in warp material. So you light it, you light it, you light it, you light it. Now you got those tacks going around like that. Almost filling the hole, and then right in the center, just like with your plug weld, you hit it. And then you roll it around like that into the center and do a hard hit. Uh, you, hard by hard hit, I mean you gotta hold the trigger down and make your wire more straight up and down. As you roll it in, roll it up. Roll it in, as you roll it up, you let go. A hard hit in the center, it'll do the same thing. All your fill from those tacks will kind of build up like a volcano and then right in the center of it, you brrr, lay into it. That'll lay it all back down. If you get real good at it, <laughs> and it won't take long. Uh, if you're, let's say you're filling all the holes for the chrome that goes down on car. You don't want a, the chrome on there. You just want to fill all those holes. By the time you get to the end on one side, you'll have it figured out. And on down the other side, you'll have it down perfect. When you do that and you hit that hard core in the center and lay off of it, it'll lay all that weld, filler weld, back down flat. So there's very little grinding, very little. You just wipe it off and you're pretty much ready for paint or a little slight skiff of body filler. Yes, Bondo has its place and that's one of the places for it. Just a light little skiff of Bondo. And then you look down the car and you'll never know that there was trim on there. But that's the difference between a rosette and a plug, the technical part. Now, what, what is the difference between the two and where would you want to use them? Well, a plug weld, like I was saying in the beginning, is hardcore structure. That's when you want the max uh, strength in a weld. And it just so happens I've got two clutch linkages here. I know, this is the one I'm going to be using on the car, and i got to extend it just a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll take, well, I happen to have another clutch linkage here, and you can see the diameters of these is the same. Same size pipe, basically. What I'll do is I'll find a piece, another pipe, that the outside diameter is the same as the inside diameter on this. Okay, Then I'll take these over to the drill press and I'll punch two holes. I'll just chalk this up in the drill press and I'll drill a hole all the way through it. Uh, and that'll give me two holes in this piece of metal. Two perfect holes for two plug welds. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. Then I'll slide that inner sleeve piece in there. It'll come in about that far. And the same on this one, it'll come about that far. And then I'll slide the two over that center piece. And then, in the holes that I've drilled, I'll do a big, heavy plug weld in there. Over on the other side, another plug weld. That'll keep it nice and strong so it can't twist apart. Then, in the center here, I'll do my butt weld. A butt weld is actually very weak, though, so I won't rely on just a butt weld. The strength is actually coming from the inner sleeve that I put in there and those plug welds. And the plug weld not only keeps it from twisting, but it keeps it from pulling apart, and because it's sleeved like that then, and you've backed it up with a continuous weld in the seam there, the butt weld, it can't twist apart this way. So that's the times when you want to use plug welds as opposed to rosettes. Rosettes are just outside 
hole fillers, whereas a plug weld is hardcore, penetrating, glue it together strong. So I hope that helps out there. And uh, like I said, you use the both techniques. They're just backwards of each other, depending on where you're at and what you're doing with it. Uh, there's a lot of times in body welding that you actually are plug welding. Um, <laughs> on a unibody car, there is frame in them. Uh, anytime you're connecting frame rails in a unibody, those are generally plug welds, not rosettes. Anytime you're just joining two body panels together and you've, you're doing it with the holes, you know, so you're overlapping them, those are primarily, well, those are plugs and it, it goes back and forth depending on what you're doing and where you're wanting to do it with. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody out there and uh, get you out there and uh, gets the metal hot somewhere because we're all in this together and we're all going to keep these old girls back on the road where they belong, even if it's done a little custom. We'll catch you on the next one.